So there is another big pastor that I just left the ECG circle, and I want to talk about that particular person and who it is. If you saw them in the in the in the thumbnail, uh, um, we, exactly. But we are going to lead up to to that particular thing, and I want you to just encompass or to just bear in mind what's been happening at ECG, and people starting to realize or understand the depth at which truth is coming forward okay and so first you remember that a lot of people tend to like to dismiss when things are being spoken about or they would like to just kind of like make it look like there is nothing like that or, or maybe what we are saying is it, it's just not there okay and so it's important we reflect or go back to some of these details so that people can understand from where we have been going or how far we've been going in detailing uh, the depth of people living at ECGs. The reality show would do daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over here to be sure, check out some other videos that are down in the pinned comments and I'm going to check you out over there. And so uh, a lot of people have been leaving this camp. Okay, So you guys might remember Ezra left uh, the ECG camp. Ezra was a musician, you know, and uh, Ezra was a, a, was a musician, very known, very talented young man. And um, when he came out, he spoke about his story, he said, no, you know what, I, it was not the church that actually endorsed my music, it was actually TikTok. It was people I did not know, because a lot of people were taking Papa Sheep as the reason why his career started going very well. He says, nope, it's far from it. We did an entire episode speaking about that now when ezra left there was a lot more eyes around it because a lot of people did love the young man now you guys will remember this particular two here pastor sandy and pastor sam the the one in the blue and right next to him uh, the one on the right being pastor sam, he was national pastor Okay, he's a former national pastor of ECG, a very big figure in ECG, who left a time ago, and you can see in the picture he is now he was now seen a, a, a numerous times, a few times at Charis uh, with uh, Apostle Macadamise, who we've known that they they don't see eye to eye, and so they, they he has now been seen at Macadamise trying to pick. Up his journey over there. Now, when they left, also him and Pastor Sandy, that's Pastor Sandy next to him with the blue, he was head at uh, the, the Pretoria branch after. And so you'll remember there was this gentleman, these guys, when their videos came out, I think it was 2020, if not 2021, when they came out, these were some of the security guys. I'm not sure about the one in the left, but I do remember the gentleman on the right. Uh, they did an entire video where they said they were not paid. And uh, there was a lot of issues. Now, we do remember that it, around that same time, there was also pastors, about seven pastors that left ECG. It was said that it was insubordination, what, 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 what. They came out and they said, they do something, it gets credited to another one. Now, we do know that one of those people that were in that particular group of the seven was um, another pastor that actually went back after that. I forgot his name and stuff like that. You know, ECG people are many. <laughs> ECG people, are, ECG people are, are like that demon. <laughs> what is that demon that is many? We are many inside. So, not in a way. It's a joke. Okay, it's a joke. Can't you take a joke? <laughs> and so, they left, uh, but... I don't know if they went back to doing security for them because it went a little bit silent. Uh, and then now, recently, you can see the date and everything. I think it's a day ago, it's a, about a day ago, there was an announcement that was made. And that particular announcement, it's of another big pastor, another big figure in ECG land, okay? That is Pastor Masabata Rachel. Okay? Now you will see here they say, uh, 
as the Lord orders your steps uh, into other di direction of your life, Pastor Rachel, okay, we want to express our appreciation for for, uh, for your true dedication and so forth and blah, 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 blah. So the person I'm talking about is Pastor Rachel. She too has exited the ECG camp. Now, I don't know if that post is still there or it has been removed because there was times I tried opening the link and the link was not going, but the link might be there. I don't know. I think you, I hope you saw where it actually comes from or the particular branch. It says the National Church South Africa. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that you are able to see it. So Pastor Rachel has now left. Now, Rachel is a very big figure in ECG. She too <laughs> exited. Now, Rachel's leaving. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's not something we can just talk and pass. Because there was a lot of, there was a long period where people felt she was just favored more than others. You know, there was a long period where it was like that. You know, I'm not talking ECG language. <laughs> when I say ECG language, I mean in ECG, she was very much favored so that other people felt like she was favored. Uh, there was a whole story around the the building up of the Kempton Park branch. It's a whole story. Like, uh, I'll see in my notes if I, if I do remember that. Maybe break it down for you all. So, Rachel was very close, very close to the Wishiris and served over there. She has just left. She's just left. Now, I want to just emphasize this. These are not the only people that left, okay? And Rachel is not the only recent pastor to leave. If I can recall, there is at least five. There is at least five ever since December. Okay? Five since December. Yeah, yes. Right now. I'm not talking in Dabak Dal. Because people might say, ah, oh, Pastor Cindy left way back. Um, they resigned way back. Pastor Sam also left way, way back. You know? Masabata's leaving is now. Now, there is at least five pastors. That might be an entire episode, but I haven't talked about those other ones. But I want to highlight here, these the people that are also being reported to have left. Um, they are also, the other ones also, they are very close to the Shiri. Not long ago, we had the former Hamas Kral pastor. Okay? And so there was a whole story over there, and I think he's also just parted ways with them. They then said they wrote a letter, and they, they said all kinds of things. Now, the reason why sometimes when we hear about this particular story, sometimes we don't, you know, we are not there saying, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> it's because we don't understand how close these particular individuals are. You know, sometimes it takes these people living for others to say, what's going on here? It will take these people living because these people were very close. A lot of people tend to look at them and, and, and think everything is good while they, as long as they are there. So when a person like Masabata now leaves, there is a lot more people that will now have that same question in their mind. Wagwan, wagwan. Not good. It's not all good in the hood. <laughs> okay? Not all good in the hood. Akna God ECG. There's no God there. You saw the rules that we were speaking about. There's no God there. The interest there, yeah, you know, they'll make you buy this pulpit, a hundred thousand rent pulpit, and then they, there's this, then they this. It's just a lot of noise. And all this noise does not result to saving God. All this noise just leads to noise. The gospel is not noise. May you also wake up. On us two guys, you know, we are used to them. You say something, they just come out casting, they come out making noise. But the truth of the matter still remains. They are living because the truth becomes much clearer and you are saving God elsewhere rather than here. 
So maybe there might be a detailed video, but that's why I'm saying it is a big deal for Masawata to leave because Masawata was seen. I'm talking about how other people might have seen it. Maybe they were wrong or they, they were not seeing it correctly. But there was a certain period when Masawata, uh, the whole thing of K Kempton Park, how the Kempton Park thing happened, you know, because there were other people at Kempton Park. And then those people were replaced and Masawata was placed. And so that whole Hwajez, if I can remember, wait, okay, I might be remembering it wrong. I'll check back in my notes, okay? So for Masabata to leave, it says a lot. Why no Zofugani? Yeah, we thank the Lord. Ah, we thank the Lord. Aye, we thank the Lord. We cannot thank the Lord less. <laughs> but the other five, those ones might be an entire episode. Because you understand, all these people leaving, Especially the the main figures, the big figures, the people that are there known. It makes a huge difference because then it does send a message for those who are, who are completely blind to start asking questions. What's going on? What's going on? It's a rich reality show, the daily Christian commentary videos. If it's the first time over, I'm sure, check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments. Uh, here we just report the matter. We report the matter, we leave it there. We tell you the facts, then we leave it there. We leave it for you to decide what to make of your journey in faith. It's Ricky, and I'm done.